it's week two of the NFL. And front and center is Sam Laporta. He's coming up a nice performance, bringing in a pair of touchdowns. It's the Lions and the Cards on Sunday night primetime. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it will be the Detroit Lions taking on the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. Meanwhile, for the Lions here, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. summer hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on ea sports this taken in right around the goal line and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured cardinal on the field so as the medical staff takes a look we'll step aside Jackson, first play, going to throw. And incomplete to open things up. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Again on second and ten, it's Jackson. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. And he's going to get this one across the three-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Here's Jackson. He gets it underneath to Hall. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. Jackson from the shotgun. That'll be caught by Rice. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Again, Jackson. Got an open man. It's Washington. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. They'll run for the first time with Bruce Hall. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one if people want to run the football. This is what every back in the league is supposed to do. Exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Jackson on first down. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 31-yard line. On oh, the option right is Jackson. And holding it, maybe the wrong decision as he stopped to the backfield. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Now it's Jackson. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And his kick is right there. It's good, and the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3 nothing. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. 
So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. And he was terrific in the opener through three touchdown passes. And make no mistake about it, he was eager to get right back out and do it again. So I think we'll see him try to test the secondary quite a bit as this game goes on. First and ten, Richardson looks to throw it. He'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. And Richardson back to throw it. That's again complete to Palmer. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Pierce in motion left. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Here's Richardson to throw. Eluding the pressure right. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Gets him nine yards and a first. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 41, this is second and a yard. Here's the former NFL rushing champ. It's Jonathan Taylor. And yeah, he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Richardson looking to throw. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. Now a second and ten. Now Richardson. And he fin but now he's swallowed up and taken down. It'll be a loss of only a couple on the sack, but now it'll bring up third down. Ninth play of the drive coming up. It's certainly not an easy one on third and long. Now it's Richardson. He'll drop this down to Taylor. And they'll get him down at about the 37. Well short of the first. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This from 54 yards away. Tucker's kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Go a little tennis on me, I know huh? you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the, start? It, what was the return it, on? It was a backhand. I and like a that. Really good. Now a hit and a loose football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. So they've got the football and they'll start right on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. First and ten, it's Richardson. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Draymond Jones. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Richardson looking to throw this. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. That puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he is caught, and in for the Lions, touchdown. D.J. Chark 
His second touchdown on the season. And the Lions have taken the lead. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is understanding the playbook, not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses, also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now 10-3. to three. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They were happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Well, the numbers for Hall in last week's ball game: 17 carries, 79 yards. A key component of his team's offense. He will certainly stay in that role if he keeps producing like this each week. Expect him to make a run and not only matching, but exceeding those numbers as this one goes on. 10-3 our score after one here on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Now Jackson. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. The former third overall pick, Quentin Williams there to bring him down. That's a pretty darn good start to his season, huh? A sack in the opener, adds a second one here. That tells you about his offseason. He came in determined to have a big year, and it's paying off. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. To throw is Jackson. And check down complete to Hall. It'll go as a gain of four. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Here's Jackson on third and long. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Lions to take over. They were losers last time out to the 49ers, but right now they're on the right side of the scoreboard as they start out first and ten. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they went standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. put it through and that evens us up at 10 apiece so the defense creating some points not only getting the interception but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six all level now at 10 apiece as the kicks away 
The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. And Detroit back in possession of the football. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines to rolling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. First and ten, Taylor now. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Again, it's Taylor. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a manageable third and seven. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for sack. Chris Jones drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. Well, last game he had two sacks. Got another one here picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to add to his arsenal of pass rush moves, certainly paying dividends of what we've seen so far. On uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. Back deep, the dangerous Tyler Lockett. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. Fielded at the 20. It'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. Throwing is Jackson. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. Call it a gain of a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 42 yard Jackson. Line. And that one too wide and incomplete. The good signal callers will never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 37. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Now a throw here. Hold in. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A big play that time on Catch and run, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Jackson. Trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. Touchdown. 
Well, they matched their opponent's pick six from earlier. Those are some crucial points that may prove pretty consequential as to how this one plays out. And Brandon, I think now we're not just watching how they move around the field, but we're checking their psychology out a little bit, aren't we? Because that defense, they're about to go right back out with all the momentum on their side. That's where the opposing offense, you wonder if there's going to be some hesitation to lean entirely on the passing game to try and mount a counterattack. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. The last time, everything looked pretty good except that final play on the pick six. And now they've got to come right back out here, Charles, and try to pick up the pieces and get things going again. Yeah, it certainly seems dire, doesn't it? But there is a silver lining, and it is hard to see so soon after that touchdown. But the game plan was definitely working. They were generating offense, had the ball beyond midfield, getting wins on each down against the defense. So they're moving it well. They just have to hang on to it. As you said, though, probably tough to remember those good things on that last drive when it ended like it did. The Cardinals on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll run with Hall. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. It's a gain of four there and gives him a new set of downs. Here's Jackson. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Now it's Jackson. He gets it underneath to Hall. So the completion good for just three. And now it's third and four. Jackson now. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. From the gun, Jackson. And he'll find Hall. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. Jackson will throw again. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 33. Now it's Jackson. Right side to Williams. Now the guard's going to call another timeout. Their second as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Jackson. And he's got his big wide receiver complete. And the Cardinals are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Jackson from the shotgun, flushed out right. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Lamar Jackson in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cardinals have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Well, that was all Lamar Jackson all the time on that drive, both through the air and in the end with the touchdown run. Yeah, how about him doing things a little bit on the reverse side there, Brandon, because he softened him up throwing the football and opened up the running lanes. And when he gets a little bit of a sliver, he's gone. And that's exactly what he did there. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. 17-17 the score, all even to this point as the kick's away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started down at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue. 
as you can see by the score line. Amari Cooper, a touchdown catch in the victory. From there, we head to the Big Apple, more specifically to MetLife Stadium in Jersey to check on the Giants. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. Dalvin Cook, two touchdown runs to lead the way. And then on Monday night, folks, you are in for a treat. They've got a good one lined up between the Dallas Cowboys and the Atlanta Falcons. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he returns this to the 22. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up. Charles Richardson hit it. He fumbles it. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And that'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. A little careless with the football. And he also had a fumble loss last week, didn't he? He certainly did. And when I'm watching him play, the one thing that comes to mind is always remember traffic, turbulence people around you two hands get two hands on the ball grip it tight i know it looks cool to have it in one hand but put it away tuck it away because you've got to take care of the ball so the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10 on first and 10 it's hall they stopped after only a yard taking it down to the 14 I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. On third down, Jackson. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Michael Davis. And the Lions are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Oh, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone and that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage and they pick that one off. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. Fights forward for only about a yard after the 21. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Yeah, Richardson back to throw it. one across the 35. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Richardson looking to throw. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pickup there, 21 yards. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 41. Richardson out of the shotgun. This one completes Alec Pierce. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Escaping the pressure right. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. 
He's only did his best to find something on that run, but there just wasn't enough time to make it happen. Nice effort there, avoiding the sack and getting back to the line of scrimmage. That one certainly could have ended up worse. So five yards here, five on the play. And now we've got a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Richardson. The throw here right side line falls incomplete. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for him, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, his face is not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. Well, they got the turnover and were able to drive it down, Charles, but ultimately in the end, the defense holds up and they only come away with the three points. Yeah, they gave up a lot of ground, but when they had to, they settled in and prevented the interception from leading to six points because you never want to see turnovers turn into any type of points against you, but better to give up three than six. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And a fair catch is taken here, a step or two inside the 45-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Lions will take over. First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. Pass complete downfield, it's Pierce. Touchdown, Detroit! Alec Pierce, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. But I don't know if last year as a rookie, if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Jackson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. 
Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. Richardson on the bootleg here. That's complete to Palmer. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Richardson. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And this one hits at the three and then bounces into the end zone for a touchback. The Cardinal offense takes back over. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. It's a game of 35. What my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. Uh, give to Hall running right. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now this is going to be a quarterback draw. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. How about that there? No frills. No additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Touchdown, Cardinals! Tyler Lockett, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals have cut it back within a score. And that score there makes us a much more manageable deficit. Agreed, because before that touchdown, this looked like this was about over. Instead, they've got hope. They're back in the game. They feel better about themselves, and now they have a chance to make some more plays. McLaughlin for the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. A four-play drive spanning 80 yards, and it ends with a Tyler Lockett touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. On first down, Richardson. Throw left side is hauled in by Palmer. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down.
Play action. Now Richardson. And he's got Pierce. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 25 yards that time. Running left, Taylor. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Richardson under pressure, and down he goes. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And uh, now fourth down. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. Now Hall to start the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. From the gun, it's Jackson. That'll be caught by Rice. So it's a gain of 12 there on the reception. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Jackson now. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third in inches. short pass pulled in by Washington It'll be a gain of five and it's second down nice rhythm throw there on first down he located his tight end made a nice easy pitch and catch hoping he could break a tackle or two wasn't able to do that there but still good yardage on second down a run with Hall and he'll get it out to midfield let's see a spot right in midfield at the 50 that one a first down pickup of eight and that's a nice pickup of the first down on that second down run and in that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Now a second and two. Straight ahead is Hall. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 53 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Throwing is Jackson. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. 
Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And this one is no good. He missed it. And the deficit will stay at two field goals. Well, just kicking a field goal there, that's a decision that could be open to second guessing. You know, you're trying to get back within a field goal, but it didn't work out as planned. And now you're banking on your defense to be motivated enough to get out there and get the ball back for you. I think if that ball goes through the post, the defense is naturally motivated, even elevated in their mission. Now they've got to find a way to dig down deep and get it done. On the counter, it's Taylor. A good move. Breaks the tackle now. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. Breaks a tackle. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to find that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Here's a second and five. They run once more with Taylor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. And Richardson completes a quick one out wide. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. Tucker's kick is good, and that will make this a nine-point lead. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. This is first and ten. Now Jackson. His throw incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. But this feels like a late-season game, even though it's just week two. Here's a big third down. Jackson. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. 
They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Lions will get the football back in terrific field position. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball and continue to feed him. It, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure... Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 and the 19. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up four. So a great play there for this highly regarded linebacker making his first career sack. And his versatility on display right there. Look, we've known him primarily as a tackler and a cover man, but he can go get the quarterback when the situation calls for it, as he just did right there. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And that last field goal, number 400 for him in his NFL career. I don't know whether this will wind up a Hall of Fame career, but he's certainly been at the top of his profession for quite a while. And that is without question, my man. One of the best kickers we've seen in the past decade or so. Big congratulations to him. Pretty nice round number. Here's first and 10. One last shot for Jackson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is dropped and incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone as time has run out on this ball game. But what a performance. All those points put on the board. And Charles, it wasn't just by the offense. The defense put some points on the board as well. They were solid today. Yeah, it was a complete effort to secure the win and both sides of the ball made big plays. But how demoralizing is it when the opposing defense can take one all the way back against you? And that was the case here. That really sparked them to victory. So for the Lions, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to New England to take on the Patriots. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, they will fall to one and one. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week so for charles davis and our entire crew i'm brandon god next game guess what charles and i will be here again it's the nfl on ea sports